This episode of the Rogue Deck Builder is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, the number one source for games and gaming accessories, and by GatheringMagic.com, the number one source for Magic the Gathering news and articles. Hi there, it's Kevin with GatheringMagic and RogueDeckBuilder.com. Here with one more match. I'm going to play one more, hopefully be another mid-range match with the um, Blast of Genius deck, the Unexpected Genius. Yes, we'd like to play first. This is a very keepable hand. We got the Blast of Genius and the World's Prime Warren combo in hand, as well as a way to ramp. So uh, this is definitely looking good. We'll Temple of Abandon here and get rid of an Unnecessary. We want that for sure. That's a great card on top, depending on what we play against. And next turn we can just throw out a Sylvan Caratid. And the following turn we can we can decide whether we want to go for a, or a profit or a I mean a Corsair of Crufix or the Kiora. So depending on exactly what he plays. It's another monsters list. Hopefully it's like a more mid-range monsters. This is usually a rough matchup though for us. So I think it's just gonna go ahead and go for a Caratid. And I think he thinks it's a mirror, but it's not. Let's see if he puts out a Caratid of his own. No, Temple of Triumph. So maybe it's this Naya list again that maybe these guys are uh, evolving over to more of a Naya build. I think Brad from Star City did like an Aureli Fury. And of course, when you know when a player like that does a, a deck list, it kind of takes off. Uh, we'll go Corsair of Crufix. And we'll go ahead and just throw out this Stomping Grounds. And go from there. Next turn, we do not quite have an urban evolution, but we have an extra draw off the top of our library to hopefully cast that urban evolution because this is getting pretty pretty awesome if we can ramp. I mean, if we can we can go cure if not either. So let's see if it just get chained the rocks. That's what it looks like. It's gonna no. It's gonna be a, a course of his own. A, a grill. Wow, I have no clue what this is. Do you know what? These might actually not be that bad of an idea in my deck as they are rampers that that don't die as easily or maybe even like a, a chromatic lantern. But I'm thinking the creatures work better. No, there isn't one off the top, but what we can do is we can cure it here. And I'm thinking I am going to draw a card and play additional land. Do I want to do that? Yeah, because we want to hit into our sweep. So that worked out very well for us. We're going to put this on bottom because if it's another land, we can actually play it. Because Kiora said we can play an additional land this turn. All right, so that is awesome. We ramped perfectly with Kiora. We have... That gives us a lot of life. Whoops, I could have attacked there. Definitely should have attacked there. Unless I'm I'm keeping back this Gruel Key Rune to act, if he activates it and save Kiora. So activate Key Rune and Gruel Key Rune. Gruel, uh... I have not a clue what he has. A Stormbreath Dragon? Xenagos. Can't quite a rally quite yet. All right, he's just going to Mizium Mortars on the, the Corsair Crufix and activate the Cruel, rune, cruel the Gruel Key Rune and kill off Kiora. So I think that my play next turn is to just go for the Blast of Genius kill, get him down to very low. Well, we could have urban evolution. And we got that amazing mortars out of the way, which now it's just definitely gonna be this blast of genius. Draw three cards. We'll hit a land out of this, I'm sure. Yes, we do, and we get another blast of genius. So this is probably gonna be a kill. Because we have we we'd have a five mana urban evolution next turn. So I'm gonna temple here. And we'll put that on bottom. No need for that. Unless he has some way to gain one life next turn. 
like a Corsair of his own, this should be game. This is exactly how my deck was working last night. Hitting blasts into blasts. Blasts into world spine worm. So, <laughs> and he does have it. He does have it. I'm like, this should be game unless the Corsair crew fix. And of course, that's what he has. And Primeval Bounty, that's interesting. But depending on what I draw into, we should be okay. Because I just need to find another world spine worm, and I don't think he can gain enough life. Elvish Mystic won't do it. I mean, we could blast to try to hit something for five. But I think the right, the right line of play is just Urban Evolution here. To find that second... Well, there's an ex ep epic experiment, which will be nice. Because what we can do now is we can... We can burn ourselves and cast a lot of guys here and hopefully not run into a Mizian Mortars. If that's the case, I'm going to just go for the Mana West Slivers. Burn myself again. Go for another Mystic. So we should be in good shape. Hopefully. I mean, his primeval bounty is going to make him. He's going to want to cast that. Maybe he just goes for a storm breath drag. Well, no. So he's got a primeval bounty, and throws a land out, gains three life, goes to nine. Yeah, that stupid courser. So primeval bounty. See if he's got another land. He does have another land. So now we absolutely need it. Now even a, a burgamos doesn't do it. It's just another world spine that does it. But, I mean, it's... Oh, and there it is anyway. So, we draw into it. Blast of Genius. To his face. And World Spine Worm. Kapow! Plus, we had another one. So, game ends on turn 7. Jeez, with the amount of high casting cost spells in his deck, Plasma Capture is absolutely coming in. I, I do feel a little bit worried about Amazing Mortars overloaded as well, which that does help... And I think I will go, we'll go with this Primeval Bounty War. I'll do it. Uh, Niv, Niv Mizzet, Draco Genius actually seems very good in this matchup. The World Spine Worms though worked last time. What would I cut? I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut some lands. We're going to go down to 21 lands and cut a ki two Kioras. And hopefully this will get us there. As we have tons of, tons of ramp. We're on the draw. Maybe I should cut some World Spine Worms. I'm going to go down to two World Spine Worms, add, add a couple lands back in, add a land and a Cure back in. Or do I want to go Xanago? Xanago seems okay in this matchup. I mean, he does have the Storm Breath Dragons, but I'm going to go one of Xanago, one of Cure, one of Xanago, and see how well that works for us. This keepable hand, definitely loving it, actually. We need to hit into a... Another blue so we can Plasm Capture. Uh, huge, 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 huge spell on one of his turns. We got double Urban Evolutions. Not a, I'm actually not liking that Niv, Niv is it Draco Genius as it's going to be too slow with the hand we want. We want to hit some lands. Yeah, but he seems to be a little bit slow too, so that's good good news for us. As a carry to then comes out. And there's a World Sperm. Did not want to hit that either. So here's carry Next turn we can we can courser and hopefully get some advantage off the courser. So either draw into a land or courser into another land. Domri's gonna be decent, especially if it gives him card advantage here. Which it does not. So come on, one time land. Elvish Mystic. All right, it's still going to be Corsair of Crew Fix. And unexpected results. Ouch. Ouch, 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 ouch. So bad news taking that. I, well, I guess I put one land back in, so... But, I mean, here was a land. And that Museum Overload is definitely looking pretty... Pretty threatening.
Yeah, that hurts bad. Because we know what we're drawn into. It's a dead card at the moment. He finds a card now with Boros Reckoner. We can unexpect results if he... Anger of the Gods. That really hurts. He brought in Anger versus me, so I might just want to go completely out of out of cards, out of creatures next, next time. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything I can do here. We're, we're too far behind. Yeah, I'm definitely going to go creature-less. Except for Sylvan Caratids next next uh next match. And make him have some dead cards with Mizziums. It's gonna be Stormbreath. It's gonna be too far way too far behind to actually deal with that. Uh I could bring in Mizzy Mortars of my own. So what I'm gonna do again, all of my rampers, we'll we'll keep in the course of crew fixes. We'll bring these in, we'll bring Kuars in. I mean we're really, really slow at this point now. Uh, Xenagos, Xenagos, Xenagos actually seems good versus all the control that he brings in. I think I will bring him some easy mortars that kills his his most of his guys, and we're going to keep Caratids in. And so I'm going to take one Caratid out, and so we're almost creatureless. So his anger of gods aren't aren't 100% weak. Yeah, I think this is the way to go. Do I want epic experiments though? If I if I go this route. Why well, will have enough ramp to even do anything? And ab absolutely not the primeval bounty, if that's the case. So maybe just another Mizium. And I, I still think that, yeah, I still think Epic Experiment's fine. Yes, I'd like to play first. I know this is this is way fine because we do have the ramp and the urban evolution. So I'm just going to go Temple of Mystery. And I'll even keep a land on top. Ooh, at this point we'll put that one on the bottom. It's not a juicy uh, blue source for a plasm capture. So we have a Sylvan Keratid next turn. And then the Urban Evolution will be coming out shortly after that. So hopefully no more lands we draw off the top. But I mean this Urban Evolution is going to completely get rid of our hand. And again, once again our opponent has a pretty slow draw. There's another Keratid, and I hope I'm not just, like, running right into an Anger of Gods. And if I am, I am. Which is unfortunate leaving in, you know, the Keratids that I left in. And I'm pretty sure an Anger is coming here. Pretty lame. So maybe I should have, maybe I should have bait him into casting something else for an anger. But we'll temple here and the urban evolution. Oh, we will not temple here. We'll actually just Kiora. And draw a card. Because I do know that I can actually play an extra land. And we'll definitely put that one on top because it is card advantage. I don't think he has a haster for three or four. He's got storm breath dragons. But at this point. You know, I hope he's got a handful of Mizium Mortars. A Courser of Crufix plus a Temple Garnoff plus a Chain of the Rocks. Chain of the Rocks is dead versus me until I get a Mizium. So hopefully I actually draw a Mizium skin here. What we'll just do is we'll, we'll make Mr. Courser not do any damage. And definitely will Urban Evolution here. And there's a Mizium mortars to take care of whatever he throws my way and hopefully I can uh, return the favor here I do know a storm breath dragon's coming Well, we're putting tributes, yes. Wow, a Flamery Phoenix. That's 
Interesting card. Uh, yes, he's going to get some counters. So I'll probably be Blaster Geniusing that away. Oh, then he's got a Storm Breath Dragon. Which he keeps on top. Smart. I know he's got a Chain of the Rock for my... Yikes. Okay. Unexpected results. That's nice, but I think the right move... Is this Cure is going to die no matter what I do? I think it's Blast of Genius here. And we throw out an Urban Evolution, or unless we get, uh, of course, a Worm Coil Engine. We need to take care of that Flame Wreath Phoenix. Well, that does it with the World Spine Worm. And we can still cast another Breeding Pool. Well, you know what we can actually do here is we can Mizzy Mortars. No, we want that overloaded next turn. So it's just going to be a Sylvan Keratid and another Breeding Pool. And especially since we have another Kiora. And we'll, we'll kill off the Storm Breath Dragon next turn. A centaur healer. That's about as unthreatening as possible. And he's got to go the storm breath into cure, actually, so we should be very decent. Yep. So awesome. Cure does her job. Xenagos. That's a nice little card. I don't think I can cast both of them. Because this this will be just unload the... Well, yes, we can cast a Xenagos here. Awesome. So I think, I think that will be the right play. Is No, it's going to be Cure again. And again, we'll draw a card. And we can actually cast that. So we're ramping quite well here. Definitely got rid of a lot of his threats. I hope he's got a, a handful of angers. If he throws out a centaur healer, we know that he's he's out of answers here. But it looks like another storm breath dragon. Ugh. Which can take out Kiora. Which means we need to find another Mizium Orders. Which will, I think with a Urban Evolution we'll be able to find it. And it'll be into top deck mode. There's another cure I can actually, uh, yeah, that's fine. Because what we'll do is we'll just kind of negate the Storm Breath Dragon. But Urban Evolution is the better card here. Yeah, we can cast both of those. And... Cura. There. And I can actually burn myself and go Xenagos. Put out a 2 2 Seder. Take him down to a 21. And we're going to have a pretty awesome epic experiment. Unless he's got another Storm Breath that's going to come out here. Primeval Bounty. Okay, that's going to be an, a, a little bit of an issue. Especially if he keeps drawing lands. So again, Mizium, we need to hit into a Mizium Orders. An epic experiment could actually do that. 
but I'm not sure if we need to. Because I think what we're going to do is we're just going to try to overwhelm him with two twos. And there's a, I can just cast that. He's got a chain of the rocks in his hand, right? Well, I'm going to go for an unexpected results. See what it hits. Wow, that's going to be a good one. That's going to be an awesome one because that takes out his Storm Breath Dragon. And I, I do believe that's the right move. Blue. Are we out of blue, though? Let me make sure I tap the lens right. Blue, blue, blue. That's not enough blue. Because I can add only red or green. Chain the rocks on top of the. We can actually world spine worm. I think that's the right, the right way to go. Here. And I know he does have that chain, but now he can't chain the Nib Mazette. And that puts counters on his Storm Breath Dragon, but at this point his Storm Breath's just getting, and he's got, a, he's got a Centaur Healer as well. So I know a Centaur Healer and what, a Chain of the Rocks in his hand? Anger of the Gods, which takes out two things, that's not, yeah, that's, because then, then that allows him to cast his, what, he's got another Anger? That could be an issue if there's double Angers or Mizzy Mortars now to take out, yeah, to take out the, uh, jeez, and he's got a chain, <laughs> and he's got a chain in his hand for the World Spine Worm. Yep. Well, he's got a huge Stormbreath Dragon, that's for sure. And the last card in his hand is a Centaur Healer, which he cannot cast this turn. So I'm just going to continue to, to uh, keep his Stormbreath Dragon nullified with Cura. And hopefully, I don't know, does Xanagos just, there's an unexpected result. We'll go ahead and fire that off. <laughs> Cast that. <laughs> All right, that works. Um, again, we will nullify the Storm Breath Dragon. Put a dude out. And again, I don't think I, 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 Epic Experiment quite yet. We wait for it for a Blast of Genius combo. But I mean that yeah, that storm breath is just getting crazy out of hand. Plucronos. Plucronos and a centaur healer in his hand. Ugh. Which puts out another 3-3, three, three, which I might just get overwhelmed with. Plugranos can, can become quite the... If 
By attacking with World Spine Worm, though, he just blocks the beast. Which might be okay, though. Well, there's a Courser of Crufix. That'll be nice. It's another blocker. Unexpect results on top. I don't think 9-9s. Nine I still think it's uh, keep this Storm Breath Dragon tapped down. We'll keep the World Spine Worm back. And the Plugranos can get quite huge. Do we go for the Senegos adding mana at this point? No, I think we just put another 2-2 two, two out. Now we can block everything that he throws at us. I think we just go for an epic experiment here. And that's not bad. We get a Museum Mortars that can kill off a Centaur Healer or a Beast. And Plasm Capture can't do anything, but we can cast this. And cast this on a, yeah, on a Centaur Healer. Blast of Genius. I'm thinking Volucranos is the best thing to hit here. Or just take out another. Beast. We're going to go for Pelucranos. See if we actually draw into something we can hit with it. And we do. We hit a Blast of Genius. Actually, an Urban Evolution can kill, kill at this point. And yeah, now we're in, we're in definite good shape. With him in top deck mode for sure. Nineteen cards left in our deck though, we gotta be careful. And no way to deal with this Storm Breath Dragon. And see if he 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 uh decides to yeah, he's gonna diversify where it's going. We have a plasm capture on top, which will be decent. So, another forest on top. Let's see here. I'm mean, attacking with the world spine worm right now. Because he can't monster us, monster us off the Storm Breath Dragon quite yet. And then we'll nullify the Storm Breath Dragon after that. He's just going to take it. So again, we'll just, we'll just keep this Storm Breath Dragon nullified. At this point, I do believe we Blast of Genius him. And this this Plasm Capture can definitely go bye-bye. And then we have the Cure next turn. That way we can ult this Cure, cast another Cure, and keep the other one tapped down. So again, it's just going to be Keep throwing the two twos out. And we should be good. He's down an eight. He can't take any more hits with World Spine Worm. Yeah, I'd be surprised if he just pumps up his Storm Breath Dragon up to a 16 16.
gain some life there. Yeah, now he, he's definitely just got a monstrosity to the storm breath. But I'm in overwhelm with 9 9 Cura tokens. I'd rather have a monstrosity of this world spine and kill the world spine before it gets chained to the rocks again. Give me some five fives. Play this Temple of Mystery. Epic experiment is so dead at this point. Okay, we got an emblem now. Now we can cast the new Kiora. Keep this one. Attacking with the World Spine Worm, and he's going to monstrosity it. But uh, let's just get that out of the way. He's going to let it die, huh? No, he's got a monstrosity it. But again, I'd rather have diversified five fives that could actually do some damage because I only have a few turns left before I'm, you know, milled. But I, I want this back and back on top of my. Or I want this to shuffle the epic experiment as well, so I don't have to draw into it. Oh balls! That was that was stupid of me. I just realized that yeah, we monstrosities it. Oh, that was terrible of me. That was terrible, terrible, terrible. Uh oh, I could be in a world of hurt here. I've got to kill him in one turn. As this does put five fives, but he's a sixteen sixteen. He can do depending on what he draws next turn. Got a forest on top. I guess I just put another 2-2 two -two out here and we just try to do a one turn kill and I don't even know if I can do it with the amount of, if he casts another spell, I'm just done. Oh, I get a 9-9 nine -nine, though. Forgot about that. But I'm diversified here. Hopefully it's just a land he plays. I've got one turn with the Stormbreath Dragon. Oh, and he did, okay, so he didn't have it. So whew, we pulled that out because I played that completely wrong. But anyway, we still end up uh, taking that down. So you can see how the deck can work. As whew, we against mid range decks, you can just go over the top of them with crazy, unexpected results and whatnot. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this match. We'll do it. We'll go ahead and do a wrap up video here. This has been Ken with GatherMagic.com. Thanks for watching.